Morning folks, um, right I'm going to play around with these Aztecs um, arrived the other day a few sample sprues that I uh, purchased um, the Aztecs are by Wargames Atlantic so I'm going to start clipping up and uh, and make some figures so back soon okay I've um, clipped out or desprued my basic um, Aztecs uh, these are Wargames Atlantic and I must say, not too bad. Um, whoops, I'm trying to pick him up. Most of my Aztecs, or if not all of them, I think, are um, Navwar from the uh, 80s or 90s. Oh no, I have a few Tin Soldier ones, and I think a very few Wargames Foundry Aztecs. But these, I think, will fit in fairly well. Um, I do like this guy with the, uh, the back banner. Although the fixing of it wasn't wonderful, it's sort of you have to imagine it's tied under his clothing, which I don't know how it's supposed to happen, or tied after his, I'm not sure how they've done it, but yeah, it'll look okay, I think, when we get that painted up. Um, just put them down. We have um, a couple of figures. I put this one with an atl atl. Um, that's a throwing spear. They've got quilted tops on. A couple of figures with quilted tops, and then a couple of figures just in, uh, bare tops just like a loincloth cloth on um, only four shields on the sprue um, I do tend to shield up all of my figures but I've got plenty of shields I can just add um, quite a few bits left uh, just move this if it shows uh, what have we got we've got a drum left uh, we've got um, some sling arms left and some bow arms left um, no left no spare left hands that I can see just the uh, bow arm and the left arm for the bow. Yeah, for the arrows, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, a few, quite a few spare right arms. Let's say no spare left arms, but uh, yeah, that's all the figures sorted. Plenty of heads left. So I could do conversions of other figures, but uh, yeah, there we go. Right, so I think I'm gonna have a go at painting up maybe a couple of these. I'm not sure if I'll do them all, but I'll have a crack at painting a couple up to see what they look like. Um, right, get back to you soon. Right, there we go. White undercoat, basic white undercoat. Um, ready to start painting these uh, these Aztecs. Um, not sure. I think I'll go for standard flesh actually, and then uh, probably adjust the tone with the uh, wash I put on them. But uh, right, I'll make a start. Right, first stage completed. I went with dark flesh skin tone um, and then uh, soft tone wash from uh, Army Painter. Uh, Back to the shields, we just had a wash of uh, brown. What brown have they had? Oh, it was just a flat earth colour. Um, so, yeah, um, there's not much to these, so it's now sort of washed out. Um, beiges and browns and etc etc so I'll get on and do a few colours and come back when we've got somewhere right coming along nicely um, lots of blocking in uh, most of the figures are just about finished apart from the knights I've got to work out what colour tunic to uh, paint for this guy uh, the other knights uh, more or less finished apart from headgear um, I've just put the dark green on for the obsidian, which is sort of blacky green. So I'll try a black wash, um, see if that coats it. Um, Shields have had their first basic coats on. Um, yeah, I think it's hair next for the... Uh, most of the figures, I'll move this one out of the way. Those, and move this one out of the way. Those four figures are just about finished so hair and then it'll be the washes on those and see what they turn out like right I'll crack on back soon okay all uh, all painted up at the finishing stages um, I think there might be a little bit of shading to do I've just finished off on the shields if they show up yeah um, just done some basic shields and we've got the knights the uh, middle warriors and then the light peasant up warriors um, right I'm, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these whether they'll go into my armies but I think for now I'm just going to base them up onto some uh, 2 pieces so I'll get some basing 
done and then come back for a final roundup. And uh, there we go, all done. Um, six sample Aztecs from uh, War Games Atlantic. Overall figures, not too bad. Um, some of the bodywork on these two at the back, the sort of light imagery types, a bit suspect, but um, passable, I think, in a, in a ward. Um, the, where are we now? The Aztecs with just the, let's move it, oops. The padded jerkin type things, not too bad, they're okay. Um, best figures, of course, are the Knights. Um, I think look the best, probably because you're, you're putting more bits and pieces on them. So I'll just put them on the tourney. Just turn that on. A little spin round. Um, yeah, I think they'll be uh, they'll be very usable. There are some units, I mean I've got a massive Aztec army, but there are figures that need replacing and some that need adding to, to make units complete, so not a problem. Um, mainly warrior types, I don't need many knights, um, so uh, yeah, so that's not a problem, but I think, yeah, buying some sprues of these. Um, not sure about the money, um, about £25 for a box, so I might be looking for some cheaper ones or... Christmas or birthday present uh, types. So, thanks for looking and uh, bye for now.